Hi everybody. Uh, firstly, apologies. I did say on the video that I uploaded yesterday, it was the 16th of April. And it was the 15th. I nearly got the date right. Today is the 16th. And the rain has just started to come. Um, objectives for the end of last week was to get this fruit area all tidied up. So that's looking a lot better now. I have chucked some fertiliser around the gooseberry bushes. And I've top dressed the blueberries. Give them a bit of a feed. I'm getting a bit of a raspberry jungle going off here. But I've not got many canes that's up from last year. So I'm not expecting a lot of fruit, but I'm expecting a lot next year. But hey, second objective was to make this area a bit tidier near the compost bins. That's been done. Whew. So I've just been digging. So yes, last week's objectives are complete. I've had to move my chicory out of the polytunnel because it was starting to flop. The seeds were picking up lovely now. I think it's because of all the climates. And my leeks are still doing well. And my reserve broad beans are all starting to show now. It's always bloody rains at Easter, have you noticed? So I'm walking as slow as I can. <laughs> Still no sign for me parsnips. They'll come. I've got me onions and garlic, another good weed. Get them some water the other day. Because there's a lot of brown leaves appearing. But my, my spuds are all planted. So I've now got two rows of Picasso, two rows of Wilger, two rows of Charlotte, and two rows of Rocket. Now these Rocket have been earthed up three times now, and they're still coming through. So they're on their own. If we get a frost, they'll have to deal with it. So there's no sign from the Charlotte yet, but early days. So yeah, that's one bed, now full. I am starting to work on this bed now. I've had a lot of couch, couch grass come over from the next plot, but we'll keep doing a bit every day. And... I've still got my turnips and swedes to get into this bed, but I've only got this little bit of space left. So I think this bed is going to be for beetroots, kale, like an overflow bed. But I'm having to take my time with the digging because there's a hell of a lot of cooch grass roots in there. It'll come, it'll come good. So that's about it for today, folks. Not much to show you. I might harvest a bit more rhubarb today, but the rain is now starting to book it down. Good job my camera's waterproof, isn't it? So yes, looking good. Winter green's still doing well. Definitely time to get the plastic up now, I think. So I want to get onto the bed after my spillover bed, so I want to start digging out my pond. So I've had another thought about that, as you do. <laughs> Anyway, quick one folks, can you hear the rain? So it's definitely looking better this side. She's good to go. It's just that bit of mess I've got to sort out. I ain't gonna take long. So bye for now folks, bye.